So I just wanted to make this quick video to talk about the changes to the AI 102, designing and implementing a Microsoft AI solution exam. This exam covers a machine learning and cognitive services products within Microsoft Azure. Now, the good news is the changes that are being announced are relatively minor. I don't really think that you need to concern yourself in terms of adjusting your studies. If you're planning to take the exam either in April or in May, the changes to the exam go live on May the 2nd. And so obviously if you're planning to take the exam after May the 2nd, you may want to pay attention to this. So let's look at what is changing. What I do is I'll go down to the skills measure section under the download exam skills outline, and we can see the PDF here. You can see that this PDF mentions the May the 2nd date. The way Microsoft uh, pushes these PDFs out is the first half of the PDF are the current requirements. So if you're planning to take the exam in April, these are the current requirements. We do have to scroll down to see the changes that will be implemented as of May the 2nd. Okay. Now, none of the percentage weightings are changing for that's the good news for one. If you scroll in here, you'll see some very minor changes. So basically Microsoft has renamed the text analytics service to a language service. And so you'll see here, they're not calling it text analytics anymore. They're calling it languages. Scrolling a little bit more. We'll see other uh, changes like this. So the entire section is not, is not text analytics anymore. It's language service. They will fully use the, instead of using the acronym Lewis, it's now the language understanding service that's there as well. Now what they've done is they've moved up what used to be the Q and a maker service. There was an announcement that Q and a maker is being retired. If you're using the Q&A maker that you can, you'll basically not be able to use it after October of 2022 and any existing services will allow to be run and will be deprecated in 2025. So you have three full years to use Q&A maker, but uh, now they're calling it the question answering service or custom question answering. And so we're, instead of talking about Q&A maker, we're talking about question answering. And so we've got these things that we know about alternate phrasing, chit chat, all of these things that go into a knowledge base for Q and A maker now called question answering. And if we scroll a little down on this conversational AI, again, they've removed the Q and A maker. So if anything, they've actually shifted some Q and A maker to the language section and haven't changed the percentages. That's one interesting, but we don't see any other really big changes. Like I said, they're not referring to it as Q&A maker anymore. It's called the question answering model and they've removed orchestrators and uh, keys in an app settings file. So very minor changes accounting for changes to the names of the services within Azure itself as well. So my recommendation again with AI 102 is to continue studying. I think most of the existing study materials are still great. I will update my AI 102 course over the month of April to refer to the Q and A makers become the custom question answering service and uh, maybe move some of those uh, videos into a different section. But basically the exam itself hasn't changed that much except for the names of the services. So keep on studying for AI 102. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section of the video, hit the like button. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. It helps this video to get found by the YouTube search algorithm, as well as to subscribe to my channel in order to get future videos talking about Microsoft certifications. This has been Scott Duffy from Get Cloud Skills. Thanks a lot and have a great day.